In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a learning path in Symbaloo and explore what it looks like for students. To begin, visit learningpaths.symbaloo.com. Click Start a Learning Path. If you do not have an account, you will need to create one. You can log in using one of your social media accounts. I will log in with Google. To begin creating your learning path, click Create a Learning Path on the right hand side. You will be prompted to enter the subject of your learning path. Your learning path will automatically be assigned a background based on your topic. To change this image, click the Learning Path Theme button in the top left hand corner. Here, you can upload your own or choose from the gallery. In the top left hand corner, you also have the option to edit Learning Path settings. You can change the title, add in a description, add in objectives, you also have the option of adding in the expected duration of your learning path. Be sure to save your settings after you make changes. You also have the option of adding a grade to your learning path and assigning it to a category. Here you can also view the learning path rewards, which we will revisit later in the video when we have added content to our learning path. We can also adjust the layout of the learning path if we wish. To begin, select your starting point. Here you'll be presented with a number of options. You can add in something from Google search, video search, or article search, or you can search all. Alternatively, you can create your own resource. For my first tile, I will add in a video of volcanic eruptions as a stimulus. First, I will add in the title, a description or instructions, a resource. Here, I have the option of adding in something from Google search, video search, article search, or search all. Alternatively, I can add in a symbol tile, embed code, I can upload a file, insert a math formula, or even a canvas drawing. I will add in a link to a resource on the National Geographic website. This will now appear on my screen in the learning tile box. I have the option of adding in a question, which I will explore in more detail later. My first tile will now appear on my learning path. This will be the starting point. For my second tile, I have the option of going down or across on the home tile. Again, I will create my own resource. I will add in a title, a description, or instructions. I will add in my resource, which is another video 
on the National Geographic website. This time I will add in a question to assess student learning. There are a number of different question types available. I will choose multiple choice for this question. The question here is based on content from the video. I now have to choose the correct answer. I have the option of adding in a hint or an explanation. I will explore these features later. Can now determine the path the students take based on if they got the correct question correct or incorrect. If they got the question wrong, I can send them to a tile where they will rewatch the video and be asked the same question again. I'll create my own resource for this. I'll add in the title, a description or instructions, the link to the video. and I will save the tile. I will now add in another tile to assess the students after watching the video. Again, I will create my own resource. I will add a title, a description, and a question. I will add in my four possible Again, I will choose the correct answer. This time, I will add in an explanation for my students. I will now add the next tile in the learning path. This is the tile the students will go to after getting the initial question correct. For those students who've answered incorrectly, they will rejoin the path at this point. Here again, I will create my own resource. I will add in the title, the description, the resource, which this time is a link to an article on World Book Online. Again, I will add in a question to assess student learning. This time, my answers will be true or false. I now need to ensure the path is connected. My final tile will include an activity for my students. Again, I will add a tile. Again, I will create my own resource. I will add a title, a description or instructions. I will add my resource. And I will save the tile. In the top left hand corner, I can review the question rewards. You can see I've assigned five stars for each activity. These can be altered at this stage or when I first created the questions. I can change the weighting for these questions so some can be worth more or less. Once I am happy, I will press save. When I have finished creating my learning path and want to assign this to my students, I simply click Assign and start tracking. This will generate a five digit code and a link to my learning path, which I can share with my students. There are additional settings at the bottom of the screen where I can schedule my learning path, enable the chat, enable feedback, 
share to Google Classroom, lock my learning path for registered users, enable the try again option, and finally hide the correct answers and explanation. Once I am happy with my settings and my learning path, I can share using the options below or simply copy the URL and share using my preferred method. When students open the link, they will be presented with a sign-in window. Here, they will input their name. They will then be brought into the learning path. They will be presented with the learning intentions when they click the first tile. When students have read the learning intentions, they will be presented with the first tile. They can read the instructions outlined by the teacher. Then they can view the video. Once finished watching the video, they can move on to the next section. Again, they are presented with the instructions, the video, and this time they have a question to answer. If they get the question wrong, they have to re-watch the video before they progress to the next section. Here, they have to re-watch the video. Portals into the... And answer the question before they can rejoin the learning path. You can see that this time the students are presented with an explanation. That way, students can understand where they went wrong. At any stage, the students can see how they are progressing and what their score is. For this next tile, the students have an article to read and a question to answer. The final tile is an assignment which students have to complete and return to the teacher. When students have completed the learning path, they are presented with the score, a time, and a recap of the learning intentions. The teacher can view how the students are progressing with the learning path. I can see at a glance how many have completed the learning path and overall how they're progressing. I can click on the assignment to get a little bit more detail to see who is scoring below, average, above average, and high. When I am satisfied all students have completed the learning path, I can stop recording to get a more detailed analysis of their scores. I can save these results and now I can view. I can see how far each student got on the learning path and who managed to complete the learning path. I can get a detailed breakdown of the I can see a detailed breakdown of each student the score they received, their reward, how far they progressed, and even the time they spent on the learning path. By clicking on a student, I can get an even more detailed analysis. I can see how long they spent at each section of the assignment. Because I saved these results, I can view these at any stage in the My Learning Path section.